the boys and girls, it's Colin back again. Today we're going to go to another town. We're going to go to Dungannon this time. If you are familiar with Dungannon on the geographical map of Northern Ireland, you'll get Dungannon close to Cookstown. On the way to Enniskillen, you'll pass by Dungannon, not far from Auckland Cloy or Porter Down, that general area. Let's sing how God made all the different animals. Then we'll go to Dungannon. <laughs> children than Gannon and the different uh, areas round about Dungannon as well. Here we go. Today boys and girls we are in Dungannon. If you travel around Northern Ireland, especially around Loch Ney and you come to County Tyrone, one of the major towns is Dungannon and lots of primary schools in Dungannon, I've been to lots of them. And one thing about Dungannon which you will notice is there's, it's out of all the towns, villages, cities in Northern Ireland, it, is a, it has the most um, different ethnic communities. That's people from all over the world, whenever they emigrate, come to Northern Ireland, uh, lots of them will come to Dungannon. Namely because there's lots of uh, factory work, lots of work occupations uh, where people can get a job in Dungannon. And as you walk through the streets in the centre, you'll see so many nationalities. One of the primary schools I would often go to every year is Dungannon Primary School. And I think the last time I was there, there was 23 nationalities. Polish, Lithuanian would be the top two main nationalities where they would come here to work. And of course, every every continent in the world is represented. There's people from Africa, people from Asia, from Europe, uh, here in Dungannon. Lots of towns all over Northern Ireland, they're quite spread out. You'll get people from different, different ethnic communities, but especially Dungannon, whenever you come here. Now, whenever I think of the Bible, uh, and I think about ethnic communities, and I think about different nations and tribes, that's one thing God wants wants uh, people to know. Whenever the Lord Jesus, at Christmas time, we remembered Jesus coming into the world. And then at Easter time, we think about Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. But one day Jesus is going to come back again. And then he said, at the name of Jesus, everyone will bow and everyone will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And Jesus commanded his disciples and his followers. He said, I want you to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In other words, every tribe, every nation, every nationality. He said, I want them to hear about me, how I am the savior of the world. That's why 
when you go to Africa and Asia and you meet Christians, you meet Christian churches, they're just filled with the love of God and it just flows out of them and it's wonderful. One of my favorite Bible stories is called, is the story of the woman at the well. We don't know this lady's name, but whenever Jesus, he was gonna go through Samaria and the disciples said, Lord, no, no, we don't want to go through Samaria. We want to go around Samaria. They did not like the Samaritan people because they were half bred Jews. They only liked people who were Jews. And Jesus said, no, I must go through Samaria. And sometimes whenever people come from other countries, uh, local people don't always accept them or don't embrace them. But we are to accept them. We are to embrace them and show the right hand of friendship. And we are to love them as our neighbor and treat them as we would like to be treated. That's a teaching of the Bible to do that. Just imagine you went to another country, your parents moved countries, moved house because of a job or whatever reason. And you imagine how the children are, would, would treat you or accept you. Imagine they said, we don't, why are you here? We don't want you here. Or they said, you're very welcome. It's so good to have you here. Will you be my friend? Will you play with me at playtime? That makes all the difference. But this story in the Bible about the woman at the well, whenever Jesus said to his disciples, listen, I must go through Samaria. They wonder, why does he want to go through Samaria? Who cares about those people? And he came and he sat on a well. Most of the villages in Bible times had a well outside the village where people would get their water from. And Jesus said, I need a volunteer to go and get bread. And all 12 men put up their hand to go to the shop to buy bread. Jesus waited there. Then a woman came walking by herself. That was unusual. Normally they would walk with all their friends, but this girl had no friends. Everyone talked about her. They laughed at her. They mocked her. And Jesus asked her, said, excuse me, can I have a drink of water? She said, why are you talking to me? Nobody ever talks to me. Jesus said, if you only knew who was asking you for water, I would give you water and you would never thirst again. She said, give me this water that I will never thirst again. Every day I have to come out and carry water on a really hot day. And Jesus said, go and get your husband and I'll tell both of you together. She says, I, I, I don't have a husband. Jesus said, I know that. You have had five husbands and the man you're living with isn't even your husband. She goes, how do you know all of, how do you know that? Jesus said, because I, I, the one who's talking to you is someone you need to know. And this woman says, I can't wait till the Messiah comes. I can't wait till Jesus comes because he's going to tell me all about myself. And Jesus said, the one you're talking to is the Christ, is the Jesus you're thinking about. And that moment she began to drink of the water of life, everlasting water being the Lord Jesus. See, the Bible says, whenever you taste of this water, you'll never thirst again. Whenever you receive the Lord Jesus as your sa savior and as your friend, you, you don't need to search for happiness anymore. He gives you eternal satisfaction. It's wonderful. And to run off, into the village and she said, come and see a man who knows all about me. Now, whenever she spoke about this man, she, everyone thought this man's different, whoever she's talking about. And the whole village come out to see Jesus. And as Jesus began to preach the word, speak the word of God unto them, the Bible says over half the people believed in the Lord Jesus. Now, let's think about that story for a moment. Because of that one woman, she went and told and everyone come out to listen. But Jesus, he wanted to go through Samaria because he knew all those people, they needed to believe in him. They needed to know all about him. And that's like whenever we come to Dungannon, such a busy town, there's always cars driving to and fro. And as you just look at the streets, you'll see many different ethnic communities, many different nationalities from all over the world living in Dungannon, doing their shopping, they're living, they're walking, walking to and fro in the streets. And that's like Bible times. Jesus would often say, we need to go to these people. We need to reach these people. We need to help these people, care for these people. And that's living out the Christian life. So if, if in your school, I mean, if you go to big school and you meet people from a, an ethnic community and the minority, always show the right hand of friendship. Just smile to them and say, hi, are you? And you're very, very welcome. And just imagine that was you in another country and another school showing no one and someone shows friendship. The Bible says you've, if you want to make friends, you've got to show yourself friendly. And the Bible says the best friend you can ever have is a friend that's sticking close on a brother, and that's the Lord Jesus. So he wants to be people's saviour, not 
just a friend. He wants to be their saviour and their friend. And that's why he came into the world to die on the cross to take away all our sins. One of my favourite Bible verses is Romans chapter 10, verse 13, where it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The, the disciples thought, we don't like the Samaritan people, we just want the Jewish people. And even Paul, the Apostle Paul, he was reaching the Jews, the Jewish people, and they said, we don't want to listen to what you have to say. He said, that's fine, I'm going to go to the Gentiles. And God was teaching Paul, whether it's Jew or whether it's Gentile, it doesn't matter what ethnic community, what that type of person, person you are, what country they live in, I want you to go and reach all people, all sorts of people, and that's what I want you to do. And that was a lesson God was teaching Paul, teaching in the Bible, and it's the same today. This is Dungannon, County Tyrone, a busy town, so many nationalities, so many people uh, all walking around, driving around, and I thought this is an example. We don't have to go into all the world to preach the gospel if you don't want to travel. We just need to come to towns like Dungannon, and all sorts of people can be reached here in Dungannon. And then they can and go back to their people and share the greatest news of all that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Another really interesting town, lots of different cultures, ethnic communities living in Dungannon, more so than any other town in Northern Ireland. And the question is, of course, for all the boys and girls, have you heard the wonderful, marvelous, awesome, great, and fabulous news about Jesus? Here we go. <laughs> as we've seen so many people all around the wonderful County Tyrone time. Have a lovely day. We'll see you next time. Bye.